Good morning from Skid Row, Destination X. Uh, what a wild night, bro. There are nearly 4 million people living in Los Angeles, the largest city in California. Los Angeles features world-famous and iconic landmarks such as the Hollywood sign, Griffith Observatory, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and one of the largest populations of homeless people in the United States. These people are ignored or forgotten. There are many videos on YouTube showing this, however, we felt the most respectful way to understand, if only in a small way, what these people go through is to experience it. So we decided to spend the night on Skid Row. So we're down here at Skid Row. We're trying to find a, a cool little spot to post up at for the night, but we've already been asked to leave a few times and, and what we're doing here, and everyone's looking at us kind of crazy, so. I think it's, they're able to tell that, you know, we're outsiders, and this is a community, and we want to respect that as much as we can. So we're not gonna, you know, we're gonna, gonna only go where we're welcome. Skid Row is the epicenter of the Los Angeles drug abuse problem. Thousands of homeless meth and heroin addicts stay in encampments that line the sidewalks. The crisis is staggering. 40,000 homeless people suffering from addiction, mental illness, or both. Over a thousand people are expected to die on the streets this year alone. All right guys, we've got our tent set up. We're down here at Skid Row. And uh, yeah, there's already a bunch of people down here. This is our tent for the night. Cat just peed on it. Medieval diseases, such as typhus, which were near eradicated in the developed world, has returned here to Skid Row. In fact, some believe Skid Row may already be affected by the bubonic plague known as Black Death during the 14th century that was thought to be eradicated. A plan to clean up Skid Row was announced by Police Chief William Bratton in 2002. By enforcing an old anti-camping ordinance, police would be able to seize the belongings of people living on Skid Row. As a result, the ACLU filed a lawsuit on behalf of six homeless people whose belongings were seized. In the end, a compromise was reached, which prohibited the LAPD from arresting homeless individuals on Skid Row or seizing their property after 9 p.m. sitting there saying, uh, as they walk by, they say, everyone knows that we're here. And what else? They're like, security's gonna get you. We know what you're doing. They're like, everyone's pointing at us and shit. So Probably because of what we're sketchy. Yeah, we didn't really address, did think about that. Took off most of the jewelry and so. Yeah, we're just gonna check in periodically, like every couple hours with y'all, and uh, give you guys updates. Don't really want to leave our tent here until we leave in the morning because we can come back and they'll be either gone or some might be sleeping in it or what. So, you know. Here's another thing. It's kind of a, uh, we have to do a situation because we parked the car in the parking garage that doesn't open until tomorrow. Is it?
Good morning from Skid Row, Destination X. Uh, what a wild night, bro. Did you get much sleep? I didn't get hardly any sleep. No, I didn't get no sleep at all. There's people walking by the whole night with these loud Bluetooth speakers playing like super loud music and screaming and saying all sorts of weird stuff. Yeah, lots of, lots of screaming going on. Uh, we're out. sitting on top of a parking lot just outside the Cecil Hotel. You may have seen it on a Netflix documentary. Um, kind of a crazy place. We're in Skid Row, California, Los Angeles right now. Yeah, so you probably know from this building from the Asian lady that just disappeared. And uh, they say that the tenants here were like tasting weird water when they were brushing their teeth and the water was brown and whatnot. And they found her body up on the roof in a water tank. It was like national news, so you probably heard about that. Very tragic. Not the only tragic thing that's happened at this hotel. I highly recommend the um, Netflix documentary. Um, but anyways, what brings us to Skid Row is uh, we just stayed the night in a uh, tent in Skid Row and it was extremely exhausting. It was an interesting experience to say the least. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. So what, what were your expectations versus what your experience was? I thought we were going to be able, I don't know, for some reason I thought we were going to be able to talk to more people. But everyone, it seemed like everyone there was strung out on some kind of drug and talking to themselves and yelling. And and it, I, I know this community, it seems like everyone, it, probably when we step into it, it's a it's a closed community. So they probably notice us right away, which people were saying that they're they were walking by saying that, you know, they notice that you guys are here and, and just saying some things to us. And, yeah, we got asked to move a couple of times. Somebody said, hey, this is Bubble Spot. We ended up on staying on OG's corner. First guy we met was OG, so this is my corner. Up on the wall, there's a big OG's corner. Um, and then, you know, they, he gave us a spot and we set up camp and... We decided to uh, leave our tents in our back, or our sleeping bags there too, for whoever would want to use it, so. Yeah, late at night, there's screaming going on, lots of screaming, people screaming themselves. Sirens. Lots of sirens. A lot of people walking by with Bluetooth speakers or riding their bikes with Bluetooth speakers on full blast. It's super loud. So. Three o'clock in the morning, for some reason. Three, four, five. That. I don't understand it. But, you know, people asked us if we wanted drugs. People asked us if we had drugs. The answer to both was no. We're just Even walking by, there's people on in open areas, not even in tents, shooting up, shooting heroin into their leg and, and just laying there strung out. You know, a lot of these people are forgotten, and my goal was just to show these people, you know, show their experience a little bit, a small piece of their experience, you know. And also give you guys an inside experience of Skid Row, for sure. Yeah. Because Destination X, we've done a lot, you know, a lot of like, oh wow, explore this cool thing. We wanted to challenge ourselves to see if we could explore something that's not a good thing, necessarily. I mean, there's... And that a lot of people don't do, you know? Yeah, exactly. So. Our goal of this video was in no way to exploit or minimize the struggle of these people. But we wanted to experience what their life is like at night, to step into their shoes and to understand a tiny fraction of their experience. for us to end this video is by asking you to join us on Patreon or something. But this time, let's try something a little different. There are many ways to help, and you can research them all. But the best thing we could do is stand up and stand together for the homeless. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want more videos like this, because that's that's what lets us know, you know, which videos you like. So. And if you got some ideas of where to go for us to go next, put them down in the comments. All right, love you guys. Destination X, let's go.